Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of How to Navigate New Orleans Like a Local. I am Travel Diva Concierge and I am here at Vu Orleans taking in the experience of all the exhibits. So throughout, I'm standing outside the gift shop, so we did come in and we did have someone to explain to us about the exhibit. So we'll be sharing that in just a minute. So we're going to take some footage and let you guys enjoy the experience. pursuing civil rights for more than a century. Between its founding in 1718 and its purchase by the United States from some enslaved people, it actually could gain their freedom. In the 1790s, the most successful civil rights movement, we tend to think of the iconic moments and heroic leaders from the 1950s and the 1960s. From an open-air market in Congress Square, they forged a new culture through rhythms, songs, and dances. If you wanted to know anything on that wall, you can walk up to that wall six inches away. My grandmother found out. If it's down here, I'll use my foot so I don't have to bend down. So let me see. I don't have a panel. I was awarded silver medal. I mixed in the Spanish tea. One of you are going to stand here and see. My hand. See that dot is controlled by my hand. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to hear her speak while she's up, I will come to this person and play it. She'll start giving you history. If you don't want to listen to her right now, you go to the menu. The legend has only grown over the centuries. I guess I did have a Go to the menu, fill it up, and then all 11 characters are going to come up that's going to give you history of New Orleans from the 1700s to the 1900s. This way you can pick the one you want. All you have to do is fill it up just as the way I did the last one. The next place you're going to go is, the, is Dress for Fest. Dress for Fest is a lot of fun. It's costumes, it changes your costume, and it takes your pictures. Story Cafe. Hope you're not hungry because it's only virtual. Okay? <laughs> Hopefully it's only virtual so you can order anything you want over there. You just won't get a bill nor food. Yeah, right, right. The only thing is Poppy and Kevin's gonna show you how to prepare those authentic foods. The next place is the music where uh, you know, listen to all these music genres. The last place that you're going to go on this floor is the theater, where Irma Thomas is going to give you a five minute history of the city of New Orleans. Uh, don't miss it. The graphics are beautiful, okay? Once you come out there, they'll take, to, they'll take you to 33 and 34, which is our indoor, outdoor 360 deck, okay? So enjoy the facility. Once you get up there, they're going to tell you about the exhibit. So enjoy the facility. And in the elevators is an experience in itself. So enjoy. Okay? Thank you, Miss Fowley.
everyone. So we are actually on the top deck and the video that I just shot is actually showing a episode or video as you're going up in the elevator. So this is a really cool exhibit. So if you have not been to New Orleans and don't know much about New Orleans, I would suggest, highly recommend for you to come see Blue Orleans. So I myself am from another area, I'm from Arkansas, but my husband is a New Orleanian. So this is actually giving me more information about the city of New Orleans and how it was created, more about its culture and their origins. So I highly recommend this exhibit if you're coming to New Orleans for the first time or if you're a local like my husband. This exhibit is very informational and eye-opening. So I do appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe below. Stay in tune to the latest episodes of domestic and international travel, as well as how to navigate New Orleans like a local. I am Travel Diva Concierge. I'll see you soon. Happy New Year, everyone.